that is the Levent, Levant engine house. what the drums are for and they contained wire rope I presume yeah wrought iron wire rope and straight across to that well that headgear is not because that, that's a new headgear that. but it would have gone to headgear yeah, at that headgear point headgear was there it was a little stumpy headgear with two wheels on it it shows you in the old photographs but being wrought iron wire rope you didn't like going around sharp corners mm -hmm. so the wheels uh, this was the man engine where the 19 yeah, where did 19 the disaster yeah, was it? Yeah. Well there was a wooden triangulated bob in here with a weight box at this end and the other end poked out over the shaft and is where the connection to the man engine rod failed. It's all slightly out of line isn't it? It is, yes. I don't know how that arose. But I think they would have followed they would have followed such masonry as they found in position. So there. which end is the shaft? Shaft's that end. That end, and this and is the it. engine was behind us. There was the bed a, there is the horizontal engine for. That, that bed isn't actually nothing. It's just an apron. The bed of the engine is over there. And um, and that chimney is associated with that it. That is, yeah. That was uh, originally the man engine was driven by a beam engine, which stood there. One of the cylinder bolts is sticking out of the ground there. But about 1892 they changed to a horizontal engine and so the new engine was put alongside the old in traditional railway manner so that they obviously could do the changeover at some point. Mm -hmm. So that's why there's a gap now. So what, that far side is where the beam the engine... No, no, the no there the boilers were in there. The no, boilers... And that was in, a, in line with the bob, with the bob pit. And that, that's a cylinder bolt One there, the cylinder bolts, yeah. sticking out of the grass. Now the shaft, when this engine was put in, the drive shaft came out through a hole in the wall here. Mm -hmm. Here are the two bearing bolts. And there was a little pinion, gear pinion here. Mm -hmm. And that drove an enormous spur wheel there. All this has been infilled, you see. Yeah. And that spur wheel had a pin on it which drove the flat rods to the man engine. 
I see. Oh, very simple. There is only one item in the equation that's missing, and that is that the flat rods, where the connecting rod turned into a flat rod, there was um, obviously uh, a joint, and there was a little thing running on rollers to support the rod. And that would be roughly halfway between. So uh, somewhere the under here is the the flat rods. Well, it's trough. just it's just a bit of uh, masonry which supported the flat rod support. Mm -hmm. Now just recap, Ken. That first um, chimney with the masonry at the top is the old powerhouse. This is the near one. The near one. One on the right, yeah. Which um, the powerhouse drove the compressors. Drove the air compressor, yeah. Yeah, from 1900 to about 1919. Then right. the middle chimney is the um, stamps engine stack. Yes. The face of the stamps engine is, you can just see a bit of it, it uh, faces the other way, down the hill, which is where the dressing floors are. Yeah. And the other thing is the arsenic stack, which has been extensively lopped. And has been filled in at the bottom? Probably, yes. Yeah. With oh, yes, uh, that's right. landscaping. They have. They have. They've uh -huh. covered over all the arsenic work. And this flat area in the foreground in front of us, is that anything significant? That's the dry. That's the miner's dry. That was the miner's dry. It's inside that bit that's fenced off at the moment. And that was... And that uh, goes down into a t shadow tunnel, which was the access into the man engine. And that came across into the man engine here. Came into the shaft. And that's the bit they're talking about reopening that, in due well, course. Yes, that, that is, I've been through it. I, I, what, what I don't know is how they're going to finish that tunnel off to stop people walking straight into the shaft. Mm -hmm. Probably just have a substantial fence, I think. Yeah, and you said this shaft with the traditional stone... Yeah protection is nothing to do with Levant. Well, all the shafts have had that sort of stone protection traditionally and the National Trust's policy is to put them back. But this one was called what? Bozigran. Um, B-O-S-I-G-I-R-A-N. But did not link with Levant didn't, Underground. Didn't seem to. Didn't uh, seem to. Didn't seem to. I did not. I must leave you now, Roy. This is the engine house of the pumping engine which was a separate shaft very close to the winding shaft, the skip shaft, which you see the head, small headstock for on the left. That headstock is all cased in because it was used as a fan shaft for Giva in more recent times.